Uh, I was born and raised in Delhi. I think uh, when you go into such a big company, there is always a challenge of adaptability. One thing that you enjoy doing daily at Deep? Of course, not the classes. College life in one word. Uh, amazing. One thing you would like to change? Probably a residential program. Your go-to playlist song? Starboy by Weekend. Analytics? Uh, hard. And what about food? Delhi's food, specifically, the best in the world. Yes. Hello everyone, welcome to our official YouTube channel of Department of Business Economics at University of Delhi. I, Sanjit Agarwal, welcome you all to another episode of Internship Stories 2.0. We will talk about the achievements and valuable experiences of our students during their summer internship, which is a part of our flagship MBA program. Today, we have our guest, Mr. Nishant Rajput from Batch 2024, who interned at the D Shaw Group. Hello, Nishant. Let's begin with our conversation. So, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Um, hi, everyone. My name is Nishant Rajput. I am in the Batch of 2024 DBE. Uh, I was born and raised in Delhi. I come from commerce background and I have a keen interest in marketing and finance. Apart from that, I am interested in movies, cinema and anime. That's very interesting to hear. Let's move ahead with the what Disho Group does and the role you had during your internship. Um, so Disho is basically a hedge fund uh, and a hedge fund is a company that basically makes money for their investors. Investors, usually high net worth individuals and institutional investors, other institutions. What they do is they come up with the extra cash flow that they have, cash reserves that they have. And they ask uh, hedge funds to specifically invest into commodities, uh, stocks, real estate, market indices, any sort of uh, asset that can make money for them. And then for that, they charged uh, a performance fee, which is on the profits that they are making for the firm. And then there is a management fee, which is on the assets that they are managing, managing for a particular firm. Um, so that is what DSHOT does. My role specifically, I was a part of a financial operations vertical, which uh, had multiple teams, compliance, management company accounting, investor relations. I was working with management company accounting team, which used to handle all the accounting processes for five different DSHOT entities around the globe, uh, UK, uh, New York. Uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Shanghai, all of these entities. So we used to handle all the uh, accounting process. Specifically, I was working on a project that was involved with accounts payable team uh, for the month end reconciliation and I had to automate that. So that was the profile that I was working in in my project. That was very insightful. So what was the, some of the challenges that you faced while working at the d Group? I think uh, when you go into such a big company, there is always a challenge of adaptability. Uh, me being a fresher, I've never worked in corporate. So going into such a company, such a big company, adapting to the culture, to the values is, is a big thing. It takes time. Apart from that, one of the biggest challenges was that uh, the company has very high expectations from you. They have steep deadlines. They give you the responsibility, but the authority as well. So I think it has always been uh, fun for me to, you know, follow the steep deadlines and then working hard late night hours. It's always fun for someone like me who, who enjoys like the pressure on him. Uh, so that was, I think, the major challenge that I faced. That's very good that you faced the challenges with fun and enjoyed it, enjoyed it as well. So did you have any prior knowledge of the tools that were used while during your internship and how did you know about the, those tools? Um, the tools, okay. So one of the thing is that every big company that you go on and work into, they have their own customized tools that you'll have to go and then work and then learn while you are on the job. Apart from that, there were two major tools that the company asked me to, you know, use. Uh, the first one was Excel, which I think is a very, very important tool when you're going into management field. Excel, you just should know advanced Excel. It has a lot of uses. Apart from that, um, I had a choice to use one of the data visualization tools. It could have been Tableau, it could have been Power BI, I, uh, it could have been Alteryx as well. I specifically use Power BI because it is beginner friendly and someone coming from a commerce field can easily learn it. You can clean the data, you can create good visuals, you can automate it. So yeah, and the prior knowledge of that, uh, I actually learned it in DBA itself. Uh, the placement committee has been arranging sessions throughout the first year for all of these uh, platforms, including SQL, Python. So I learned it through that. And apart from that, I did a few uh, projects on GitHub and using YouTube. So I learned it that way. Yes, I think we all will agree with that excellent Power BI are most useful in the corporate and everyone should have a knowledge of them. Uh, so moving on, what about the specialization have you chosen and how is the combination working out for you? Um, this one is interesting actually. Uh, usually people go for analytics finance or analytics marketing. 
I have chosen marketing and finance, uh, which is a very poles apart type of a combination. The only reason of choosing this was uh, to get a diverse range of subjects under under my umbrella. Um, I have had a background in marketing, and since like my graduation, I did BBA in marketing specifically. I did a few internships, and marketing is something that I was passionate about. I still am, and finance is something that I be became interested in recently, uh, right when I joined DBE. Finance is something I believe that everyone should know. If not corporate finance, personal finance, of course, because when, when, once you are working, you need to invest. You need to know how to invest your personal finances and uh, how to make good returns. So yeah, finance for that reason. And it has been working pretty good for me till now. Yes, definitely. Marketing and finance is a very unique uh, combination and it's great that it is working out for you. Let's move on with the, you are also the convener of the public relations committee. So how is the... Do you think that influenced your networking abilities while working under d -Shop? Uh Okay, so public relations committee, yes. Uh, I've always been an extrovert and public relations committee has just, you know, provided me a platform to connect with different individuals. Um, I formed the com admissions committee in the college itself. So I got to talk to a lot of CAT aspirants. I get to talk to a lot of uh, industry experts when we are arranging seminars, guest, se uh, guest sessions, speaker sessions. So I get to talk to a lot of company HRs, uh, PR related uh, people and it has been amazing. It has provided me with a lot of opportunities like uh, to, to network with people. So yeah, this is something that I am proud of and uh, it, it has helped me a lot. That's great. So let's move on with how did your learnings at DB help you during your internship? Majorly, like very, very highly. Uh, during the first semester, we have had subjects like finance, accounting, um, statistics and then in second semester we had econometrics all of these subjects are very uh, highly used in data analysis um, and finance as well so i think this has helped me a lot theoretically when uh, I, I went on my internship and i was able to put it to use and i realized that how important it is apart from that uh, the soft skills that i've developed here as uh, previously discussed in the last question uh, my networking skills my uh, confidence has been boosted up a lot I could go on to you know do my internship and then talk to people from different departments uh, people on the senior level management I could just be very free and be myself and converse and convey what I mean to do and uh, what I am trying to uh, achieve so all of those things so yeah DB has been a very uh, pivotal part of my uh, career that's great I hope the students will focus more on academics now Let's move on. So do you have any additional tips or guidance for the students who want to pursue an internship in DSHA or in any finance company, you can say? Uh, I'll answer it in two parts. Uh, going into a finance company, I believe I'm not uh, like a very well, you know, versed with finance type of a guy. But yeah, when you're going into finance, I think the basics are everything. Uh, you need to have a very set of a very clear set of basics. You need to be very clear how stock markets work if you're working in you know equities and markets you need to know what derivatives are all of the basic concepts options trading um, also in addition to that if you want to work into finance you should be very well versed with what is going on in the economy that is very important finance and economics go hand in hand long way if the economy goes up financial sector takes a boom so that is how it works uh, if someone is uh, you know uh, interested in going at DSHA for an internship or even a finest, final placement. Um, I think DSHA again looks at the basics. If the set of basics is clear for you, they'll, they'll you know probably get you on board and then teach you everything and you'll learn everything out there because there are customized tools and internal processes that you need to learn. But specifically, you need to have a very high confidence, self-belief and communication skills matter a lot. Uh, one thing that my manager told me, if you can say something in one line, don't stretch it to a paragraph. So that is something that you need to be very good at. That's great. I'm sure this will be very helpful to the students and the viewers who are watching this. So we have a bonus question for you. One thing that you enjoy doing daily at DB? Um, daily? Uh, of course, not the classes. Uh, apart from that, I think I enjoy socializing with people. Uh, not only my friends, but people from, uh, you know, junior batch and maybe the senior batch last year. There are other courses as well uh, at our department. We know that and talking, for, talking to those people, getting a whole sort of knowledge. There are days when we come on the campus and then we, you know, play cricket. All of the events are very 
good speaker sessions uh, there are fun events as well so those are the things that i've enjoyed the most and of course uh, uh, the parties that db does so all of those things are also very good so let's start with the rapid fire round college life in one word uh, amazing one thing you would like to change um, one thing that i would like to change probably a residential program source of motivation cristiano ronaldo your go to playlist song um probably star boy by weekend so now i'll say a word and you will have to say the word first word word that comes to your mind analytics a uh, hard delhi amazing and what about food delhi food specifically the best in the world yes thank you for taking out at your time nishan and sharing your valuable experiences and insights thank you everyone for tuning into this episodes of internship 2.0 and we will meet you in the next episode Thank, Thank you, you everyone. everyone.